Hi there students, this is Mr Hussain here. Welcome to our first lesson. What is binary? The learning objective for today is to explain the basics of binary and deanery in this short five minute lesson. So what is deanery? Deanery are the numbers that we use every day. The digits between 0 and 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. We use 10 different digits and with these 10 digits we can make any number we want in the world. This is called base 10. Deanery is based on 10 different digits. The central process unit is part of a computer system that is commonly referred to as the brains of a computer. The CPU is also known as the processor or microprocessor. The CPU is responsible for executing a sequence of stored instructions called a program. Now the reason why I'm teaching you a CPU and what it is, is because without knowing what a CPU does or is, we cannot go into binary. So we must remember that the CPU is the brain of the computer and it calculates all of the logical instructions that has been uh, put its way. The same way as we humans calculate instructions every second of the day. How do computers see the world? Well computers see the world in two states. 0 and 1 and the CPU is responsible for translating all of those zeros and ones into instructions that we humans can see. For example, I could open PowerPoint on my computer but really what the computer sees is, sees is just purely zeros and ones. So what is binary? Well binary uses two states, 0 and 1, and nothing else. No number 2, no number 3, no 1.5 or 2.2 or 2.6, just 0 and 1. In the future, in another lesson, we'll be using the base 2 table to convert deanery numbers into binary and binary numbers into deanery. Remember, deanery are whole numbers. These are the numbers that we understand. Binary is the number, the number set used for computers and only computers will understand. So, binary is used in a way in which the computer stores and reads data and it uses electrical signals that are on and off. 1 meaning on and 0 meaning off where 1 is true and 0 is false. For example, right now my computer is on, therefore I could say that the binary digit to represent my computer would be 1. Why? Because it is turned on. If I was to turn it off, then it is in a state where it cannot turn on, it is off, therefore I would use the binary digit 0. So all data that we want, to, want a computer to process is converted into binary numbers, for example, if I was to take my keyboard and write down Mr. Hussein into Microsoft Word, although we will see on your, my screen, your screen, Mr. Hussein, the computer does not see that. The computer only sees hundreds and thousands or even millions of zeros and ones. All data that is processed in binary numbers is represented in a sequence, a certain sequence of zeros and ones. And remember, each one and zero in the sequence is called a bit. A bit. For example, I could say 0, 1, 1. That is 3 bits. Not 3 numbers, 3 bits. Again, I could say 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. That is not 5 ones. That is 5 bits. So, we must remember this to prepare for next lesson. Binary works in base 2, 1 and 0, and deanery works in base 10, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Why do we call it base 2? Because base 2 uses two numbers, 1 and 0. And why do we call it base 10? Because deanery uses 10 digits, 0 to 9. This has been Mr. Hussain providing you your first lesson in binary. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.